everyone, Tim Stoddard here. Thank you for watching this week's video. Today, I'm going to share with you a fun little tool that I discovered that's gonna help you create newsletters really, really fast. So there's some pros and cons of this tool. It's called eLink, eLink.io. eLink makes it so that you can easily curate a bunch of different articles across the internet and you simply paste them into the field and then eLink displays them. Uh, almost if it's like a, a news site or like a magazine type theme. And so within five, 10 minutes, if you do a little bit of research and you collect a couple of related stories, you can paste these links and eLink is gonna format them really properly and then it comes with an embed code and you can embed the code directly into your ConvertKit account or your MailChimp account or whatever you're using. Uh, and you can also embed it into a blog. So it really, really is a way that you can quickly and easily make newsletters and blog posts that have relevant information that your followers would enjoy. Uh, the downside to it is that the design elements for eLink is not very good. So basically you can't have page breaks in between the different articles. You can have a little bit of content at the top and a little bit of written content at the bottom. But if you wanna have different articles and then maybe some page breaks and, and maybe some uh, summaries of the different articles or, or some separation, you can't do that. So all you can do is basically list articles on top of each other and on top of each other. Uh, so let's talk about some ways that, that you can use this. I am using this for yourbolder.com. So people that have been following me for a while know that I'm a big believer in local media sites. So a local media site is basically anything that is about a city. So wherever you live, you can create content, whether they be uh, events or maybe stories of local businesses or even local news stores, and you, you create a newsletter out of it. Newsletters that curate local media stories, especially news stories, um, stories about small businesses in the area, uh, a place to host all the events, a place that you can get uh, maybe deals for happy hours or comedy shows or, or dance clubs or whatever. Uh, this, uh, this industry, this type of media is really, really relevant right now. And in this particular example, eLink is perfect. So my site, yourbolder.com, uh, we are adjusting the entire strategy basically into making it just a weekly newsletter where we curate two or three top news stories, maybe 10 local events for the weekend, and we send it out every Friday. So for this example, eLink is pretty perfect because there's not a whole lot of like high level uh, writing or storytelling needed. People that sign up for the newsletter basically just want the weekend information as quickly as possible all in one spot. It's a great place to start. Um, I, I know that a lot of this video, I was talking about some of the downsides of eLink, but really I think very highly of this software. It's, it's very affordable. I think it's like nine bucks a month or something like that. And, and if you want to start a newsletter, but you're having a hard time putting the time together to sit down and really write a comprehensive email every week, this is a, a great place to start building your following. And more importantly, it's, it's very helpful because one of the best things about newsletters is curation. People really, really appreciate the process of just finding all the best pieces of information in whatever your topic is and putting them in one place. So if I'm signing up for a curated email, I'm not necessarily looking for like context or storytelling. I'm just looking to get everything I need to know all in one place. And so for, for those kind of newsletters, eLink is, is really perfect. So check it out, eLink.io. If you wanna see how I'm using it, you can go to yourbolder.com. It's, it's my local media site about Boulder, Colorado. And you can see firsthand uh, how I'm using it. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Please leave a comment. Uh, please subscribe and I'll talk to you next week. See you guys.